It is alleged that at their three-day retreat, meant to provide them time to critically analyze sectorial budgets and find cuts for more funds to increase teachers' pays, the MPs spent 30 million at the retreat, but made no single budget cuts to create funds for teachers, a fact that fellow legislators have opposed and criticized. It turned dramatic when Mr. Geoffrey Ekanya, who had signed the committee's report, later turned out to oppose it, but was booed by fellow legislators. The shadow cabinet met last night to scrutinize the budget and found at least 600 billion shillings from the budget if all sectors agreed to an 8% cut. Ekanya was meant to present the report, but before he could, he stood up to support the majority report by NRM's team Rwanga. You, you want to present the position of the opposition, but you are constrained morally because you signed for something. He agreed with the report at the same time. He's moving now to oppose the report, to present the opposition of the party. It's very unfortunate. The leader of opposition is alleging that all signatories to the committee report were bribed with one million shillings, an amount many have preferred to as transport allowances. Colleagues who went for that very important meeting, they told me clearly that they were given one million shillings each. We are sensing this is the beginning of a problem. Can you answer that question? The Honorable Kenya should come and tell you how much he signed for. Why is he now disagreeing with the committee? Freely, uh, money exchange hands. Legislators have sworn not to adopt the report that is accordingly being overshadowed by allegations of compromise. Even members who signed the report have stood to contest it, citing that the final report was doctored to the interests of the government. Which we are looking for. And we are saying we should cut this money to pay teachers. After that, then the expression will improve. Thorough job. The committee I have is a fantastic committee. It is not the first time that the opposition shadow minister of finance, Geoffrey Kanya, is engaged in allegations of bribery. In the 8th parliament, Ekanya was sacked from the position of local government accounts committee chairperson after it emerged that he had been compromised on the issue of Nakasero market. There is now pressure that he relinquishes his ministerial position. For NBS News, I'm Dejan and Teddy Namayanja.